I think Harvey is helping to motivate people in Florida to take this seriously, but they are two right. very different types of hurricanes that are going to have a very different type of impact. In Houston, it was rain and flooding, and sure, Florida's going to have flooding, no doubt, but it's going to be the storm surge that's going to cause the main problems there. We'll get into that in just a moment. Temperatures here in Colorado are in the 50s along the front range. We have 40s in the mountains right now. Later on, 60s and 70s for the most part in the mountains, maybe an isolated shower or two in the high country today. A much better chance for seeing some rain in the mountains coming up tomorrow, and in Denver, we have a chance for seeing some rain at the end of the day tomorrow, especially Friday evening. Uh, out on the eastern plains today, temperatures will be in the 80s. We're watching a little bit of cloud cover moving from north to south, an indication that the upper level winds are moving from north to south, and that wind is going to transport a lot of smoke from wildfires burning from California to Montana into our state today, and therefore you're probably going to smell some smoke. It's going to be very hazy throughout the entire day. Visibility will be poor, air quality will suffer, etc. High pressure still overall controlling our weather, and by tomorrow, as it moves south, it's going to allow a little Pacific moisture into the state. That's what's going to fuel mountain showers and thunderstorms tomorrow, and again, I think at least one or two of those showers should make their way over toward the urban corridor tomorrow afternoon. Here's what the satellite and radar looks like in the Caribbean. There it is, Irma. You can see the eye wall, and of course, with the hurricane, the strongest wind is just outside of the eye wall. That's where the sustained wind is 180 miles per hour. The storm's making its way along the northern coast of the Dominican Republic. It'll head toward Haiti next and then Cuba and the Bahamas as we get into the end of the day tomorrow. Should be a Cat 5 storm through Friday evening. Then they expect it to become a Category 4 storm as it approaches the Florida Keys and South Florida Saturday. Saturday is going to be a day where people in Florida just can't move. I mean, wherever they're at, that's where they're going to be. It's going to be impossible to travel. And then the storm will make its way north along the east coast of Florida, probably making another landfall around Savannah, Georgia, as we get into the beginning of next week. Here's what makes Irma so different from Harvey. The rainfall forecast 8 to 14 inches. Harvey, there was 30 to 40 plus inches of rain. Again, the bigger issue with Irma is going to be the highly destructive storm surge. We're talking a wave 15 to 20 feet above the ground that is just going to cause catastrophic damage in some areas there in Florida. 87 today here in Denver, 86 tomorrow, 20% chance for late day rain. And then for the weekend, it looks warm. Highs upper 80s to near 90. It does look good for Monday night football.